What's going on, everybody? Um, you guys already know uh, Stan Lee died. 1922 to 2018. Man was born in 1922. That is crazy, man. 95 years old. He was five years away from being a century. But anyway, I didn't want to make this video too long. I, I made this video because I wanted to share a story. Which I had no reason to share at all with anybody. Because it's kind of a weird story when I think about it. Because... It's just really weird and you guys will, you know, are about to see why I think that. It's very weird, but, you know, in honor of Stanley passing, a person that made up 95% of my childhood, or helped make up 95% of my childhood, made up a lot of people's childhood, childhoods, you know, inspired me with Marvel Comics and the Marvel movies and guessing where his cameos were. Um... But anyway, here's the story. Um, so, there was a period of time, I think I was like 12 or 13, when I was visiting my uh, my grandfather in um, Long Island, New York. Because we moved from there to Georgia, so I would visit him in the summers. Um, and somewhere during that time is when I started doing push-ups and sit-ups before bed. Um, and it was weird, like, my, my sit-ups were weird. I found, like, this random metal bar, and I used to, um, do sit-ups by holding it up and just going up like this, but that's just neither here nor there. Um, I remember, like, I was doing, I would do push-ups, you know, instead of before bed, and I usually do them, um, while watching American Ninja Warrior. Um, my uncle would be, um, watching it. Uh, behind me, chilling on the sofa watching. I'll be in the living room just doing push-ups. Um, but one night at my grandfather's house during the summer, um, it wasn't on. I think it. I think American Ninja Warrior uh, uh, turned off or was off or whatever. Um, so I put on, or my grandfather put on for me, and this is during VHS, put on for me Spider-Man 3. Um, and... Which happens to be my favorite cameo of Stan Lee's to date. And I think this has a lot to do with it. Um, the scene in Spider-Man 3 where Spider-Man is... Peter Peter is looking at um, his face and saying Spider-Man is going to receive Key of the City. And Stan Lee walks up to them and says... You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said, and you know it was just, it was just cool. Like, it was just cool to see that. Now I bring that up because I was doing push-ups while that scene was playing, and I was struggling with my last push-up. <clears throat> and the, the timing was perfect when his cameo showed up, because I was struggling with my last push-up. Like I said, it's a real weird story, but I was struggling with my last push-up. I looked up and I saw the scene, and I heard him say that. And as soon as he said enough said and walked off, I have no idea. For some reason, I was I got the energy to do that last push up, and I was really struggling. With, like I got stuck in the middle, and that just helped me get the energy to push and do the full um not not sit up push up, and just push to do the full push up. So I like I said, it's a weird story. Like I people I I don't understand like why that gave me energy to finish that push up. It wasn't a workout scene at all. It was a regular Stanley cameo in a Marvel movie that had nothing to do with working out with him telling Peter Parker I guess one person can make a difference enough said but <clears throat> ever since then I've used that scene and thought of that scene and drawn from that scene to help me push through workouts uh, from then on and it's helped every time I think about that scene to get like a burst of energy or a surge of energy to finish that last rep or two out on either you know bench press or whatever or doing push-ups, whatever I'm doing, sit up, sit up, squats, <clears throat> straight legged deadlifts, every, everything. I don't know, it's like something so simple like that helped me out. Very weird, unexplained. I don't know why it inspired me. Is it the words I'm thinking? Is it just the scene? 
I don't know. I have no idea, but I just felt like sharing it because, you know, I think this is a good time to share it. I remember trying to picture when Stan Lee will pop up in in the Marvel movies. And the most surprising ones to me, one of the most surprising ones to me was in the first Thor when he was the person trying to drag Thor's hammer out of the dirt with that white pickup truck. <clears throat> I didn't expect him to be in that truck. Um, I think one of the most obvious ones to me were yeah, the most obvious ones to me were like I think the Incredible Hulk, 2008's Incredible Hulk <clears throat> with Edward Norton. And that was obvious to me when they were talking about some old man, some person drank it and so and so. Um, another obvious one to me was I think another obvious one to me was like, I want to say Captain America, the first Avenger, him being one of the colonels, lieutenants, or whatever his ranking was, and Captain America didn't show up, and somebody else walked out instead, and he was like, Stanley was in the crowd, was like, I thought he'd be taller. Uh, it was funny, and some of the funnier ones were Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer when, he, when they tried to get into Reed Richards and Susan Storm's party, and he said his name to the um to the bouncer, like I'm Stan Lee, and this bouncer was like, yeah, right. He's like, no, really, I'm Stan Lee. That was pretty funny too. Um, another funny one was uh, Captain America: Civil War. <laughs> When he was the FedEx person or the delivery person, I forget what brand, brand delivery it was, but he had delivered a package to Tony Stark and he said, Is there a Tony Stank? <clears throat> but yeah, man. Thank you, Stan Lee, for helping make my childhood. Thank you, Stan Lee, for helping make characters that continue to make me be a child to this day. <clears throat> As you guys see from the skits that I do. Shoot, from the skit I just posted. <clears throat> I haven't worn this hat in a long time. I wore this hat in a couple reaction videos in the beginning. <clears throat> and then I switched to the New York one. But yeah, but um, thank you, Stan Lee. Stan the man Lee, I thank you, sir. But you are in a better place. Don't let anybody tell you different. I'm pretty sure nobody will where you're at. You are in a better place. All right, you got a great run here. You got a great life. You got a long, fulfilled life. 95 years, five years short for me in a century. All right, you've seen a lot. I thank you, sir, for all the heroes that you helped create. All right, thank you for sparking, you know, all the Marvel movies, Marvel Studios, the MCEU. You're the reason why we have something like Avengers 4 coming out. You're the reason why we have stuff like Captain Marvel coming out. You're the reason why we had 10 years of great Marvel movies that were all connected that led to one climactic event that we will enjoy in the near future. I thank you, sir. All right. Stan the Manly. <laughs> Enough said.